So I know the thumbnail might have tricked you, but we're here for another Tip Tuesday this week. <laughs> so right here, I've got two machines and we're mostly gonna be talking about a walking foot or a dual transport and why it's so important to have those things. So whenever you're working with funky fabrics, like ones that have a lot of stretch to them, minky, really thick layers, fleece, any of that sort of thing, sometimes when you're feeding it through the machine, the layers don't move very evenly. They kind of need help along. So a walking foot is usually what we recommend to help you with that. Your typical walking foot looks like this. This is a brother walking foot and it's got this little arm that moves freely, but you'll notice when I move it, these little feed dogs move up and down. So those feed dogs kind of help walk your fabric through the machine as they go. Not every machine has a walking foot though, because some machines like Foff have an integrated dual transport, AKA a dual feed built into the machine. So I'm gonna show you the difference between the two and know that the practicality is awesome on both of them. I do prefer things to be a little easier myself though, but first off, we're gonna put this walking foot in. Before I do, most walking feet have this little hole on the back of the foot. This is great for you to put this funky little guide thing that came with your machine most of the time to put it in the back so that if you are quilting straight lines on a flannel quilt or with something with a minky back, you can actually do that every so often and get a good crosshair or straight lines or whatever you're working for. So that's a great guide. It's also good when you're doing your piecing as well. To put this foot on to your machine, I'm gonna angle it so you can see a little bit better. I have to take both the foot and the ankle completely off. So I unscrew it and take that whole assembly off. And when I put it on, I like to kind of keep my thumb up and we're gonna put exactly where that ankle was right there. There we go. And as I do that, this jaw is gonna go around the needle bar. So there we go. Oop, too high. There we go. I'm going to tighten the screw and then show you guys. Come on. If you have a screwdriver, it makes it a little easier. Okay. So you'll see I've got the walking foot around the ankle. And then I'm going to move the hand wheel. You can see that jaw around the needle bar as it goes through. Now when I put my foot down, I'm going to just hand wheel it. But you can see the foot kind of dragging that along. So that is why we recommend a walking foot when you're working with those funky fabrics. If I switch, however, over to the Foff, you'll notice that on Foff, they have this black thing in the back. That is gonna be the integrated dual transport. I'm gonna pop this off. And if you look at that, it has feed dogs that are on the top of the fabric, as well as the ones on the bottom. So whenever that's engaged, it's like a walking foot that's built into the machine. Then when I put my foot down and do the same kind of hand wheel situation, you can see it moving back and forth and picking up and grabbing it. So, whoops, sorry. Having a dual transport versus a walking foot, um, I like that because it's nice and easy. You can just slide it into place. Some people do prefer a walking foot, however. There is like um, the Brother Compact Move It Foot, which has a rubber belt that keeps constant pressure with the fabric on some of their higher end machines. Bernina also has the dual transport and a walking foot. Janome has the AccuFeed Flex Foot. So as you can tell, every single brand has their own version of this to try and make your life the most easy it can be when you're working with those funky fabrics. If you haven't tried it before, I highly recommend it. Please put in the comments below what you thought of it after you tried it because I don't know about you, for me, it was game changing. We hope to see you sometime soon. And if you do give it a try, make sure you are on our Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum VIP Facebook group, because there you can share what you've made with it, ask questions about it, any of that sort of thing. It is a lot of fun and yeah, we just love the community we built there. Thank you so much for joining me for this Tip Tuesday and we will see you next week.